So for now I'm up to 23 as you can see it's your 23 dollars game. Hey yo what's popping gang what's popping gang welcome back to Fast and FX ah, Humbo Blues uh. So today video guys once again um I'm going to analyze this pair GBP JPY and uh, as usual I did document when I did take the trade and how it played out until it took me out but that is in profit right so if this is the first time you came across this channel kindly stick around and uh, maybe after watching the video till the end if you find it more educative that is if you learn something out of this video then you might consider smashing that subscribe button all right so that is only guys only you just have to smash the subscribe button only if you learn something and if you don't learn guys you might dis uh, consider rewatching the video until you get something out of this all right so let's get started so this is gbp jpy um let me just start with my analysis basically i did start the analysis from the weekly time frame right and uh yeah let's go let's go and uh, here we go baby here we go i don't want to delete everything basically because um just want this video to be brief all right i'll just explain everything and uh let me just draw that alongside as you can see that price was in a downtrend oh come on let me change that color let me make this all right all right so let's start so you can see that price was in a downtrend just like this i don't know should we make that big and uh, maybe another different color and uh, let's see just a minute let's make this color to be shouting let's make the color shout yeah just like that <laughs> so we can see this was a prize was doing this in a downtrend right sorry forgive me for that drawing and that is why i have this trend line over here right so with that um then i saw uh let's continue let's continue i had to identify some important zone that is maybe uh zones that might bounce off or price might try to break out of those zone or try to target so this was the first zone over here you can see this line then this is the second zone over there right sorry for my drawing i hope you can see the zone that i'm talking about i'm talking about this zone over here <laughs> crazy drawing and also this zone over here i hope you can see those white lines game all right so let's continue <clears throat> And uh, just a minute, somebody's disturbing me. Let me just put on that airplane mode. All right, so let's proceed. Let's proceed. So after that, I went to the daily as usual. Now that we know what price is trying to do, okay, we've seen that okay, there is a certain zone that price has not yet tried to reach or targeted, which is this zone over here, all right. From those sensitive zones that I did draw, so those are the uh, zones that I believe that price will try to approach or will go and try retesting. All right. So with that, and um, then I had this also. I identified this zone over here. Let me show you this this zone over here. Uh, come on, baby. This zone over here. All right. You can see that white line there. Uh, why did I have that? drawn as a resistance you can see over here price played over here for some time and then as usual another uh, confluence was that price was there then bounce off that zone then went up right so now i had to okay that's a very nice zone then now went to the four hour time frame at the four hour we're still identifying what's happening all right at the four hours so okay now price as usual is um now we can see at the four, four hour that price is in an uptrend all right let's see you can see this line over here this is an uptrend okay so basically that's what's up i had that drawn with this one over here i hope you guys can see that clear all right so with that okay i started saying all right now i'm in for my buys because i want to target all the way um to this zone over here all right that resistance that is why i want to swing all right at the same time also have this zone identified let me show you that i have this zone that's why you can see i have an alert there all right i have this zone okay so when before this movement happened uh come on this movement had not happened yet right that movement had not happened yet so 
okay i started understanding what price was doing i just saw that okay price was giving us an impulse movement then a correction impulse movement now this was a correction all right now as usual now i'm anticipating for an impulse movement that's what's up okay so let's continue all right all right all right so as you can see i have this uh, trend line over here you can see these are lower low lower high lower low lower high blah blah that is what just did happen over here repetitive over here okay that's now before this major movement happened let me recycle that once again before this happened okay so this is as you can see this uh, line over here that is where i did take that part entry so let's go back to the one hour time frame i have not taken that buy entry yet so this is what's up we can see that price gave us the first touch the second touch then the third i said okay as usual those are my policies price has to um give me three touches and then on the third touch that is where i do make my decisions right so that's what's up let me just give you that this the first touch over here the second touch probably then now the third that is where you try to bounce off then identify all right now that is a higher zone all right look at this price went and uh try to touch that um resistance or that trend line then bounce off that zone then now i decided okay let me mark this zone that's why you have to, you, i believe you're seeing that so all i was just waiting for is just to break out of that zone that is this zone this zone okay let me just delete that i don't want to confuse you again i don't want to confuse you let me delete that okay all right so this is what's up i just needed price to break out from this zone over here that i did identify that previous lower high now that this um, movement the down was also down this movement all this was down all right that's what's up okay so all i just had to wait okay that is, now this is called a supply zone and then of course down over here i have a demon zone basically because that is where the price uh, bounce off then now went all the way up so this is uh, let me just draw that also price went like this bounce off the now did that right so that is where uh, this is the zone that i'm talking about i'm talking about come on I'm talking about this support over there all right so that's what's up so all i just had to wait uh, is for an engulfing candlestick as usual that is what i usually talk about in my previous video guys it's just the same same strategy that i've been using and is what i did approach this market using all right so this is what's up okay let me do this this candlestick over here that was great right but this time guys i did have um my buy stop in place because i was away from the computer guys right this is where my buy stop was right basically if i was um near or next to my computer guys i would have taken that entry when that uh let me just show you this bullish candlestick over here closed above that resistance this one over here hope you guys can see that is where i believe i should have taken my entry so probably i missed that entry about um let me see um come on probably eight pips all right and as you can see that's what's up i did take that i mean i was triggered in and that's the rest of history i recorded everything you can watch all right gang so um my position just got triggered and now uh, as you can see this is what's up still uh maybe i don't know maybe one pip probably and as usual guys i'm a swing trade and i'm trying to swing this joint all the way to this zone over here all right so let's see how it plays out man okay so this is just a funded um challenge i'm um, still in the first phase and uh, let's see how it goes all right so after that now you can see now price started doing something crazy all right i just had to trail my stop loss so this is i believe this is the zone that i did make my stop loss trail all right 
yeah. good morning again it's another day and i'm still holding this trade so i just want to protect the profits and start trailing stop so so now i'm up to 23 you can see so 23 dollars can i'll start adjusting my stop loss yeah so probably let me see this should be my stop loss zone over here because that was the previous um previous low let me see One eighty four. Yeah, so I'll just let this play out. And um, yeah, like I said before, I'm swinging this, so this should be my take profit. So that's where. I will be out, alright. And uh, so I'll see you guys. And you can see, um, funny enough, Price has taken me out. Price just took me out. Price has taken me out with this red candlestick. So um, just uh, realize that the market has stopped us out, guys. Alright, so. As you can see, I've been stopped out at um, $125, which is annoying sometimes, you know, uh, the moment you decide to trade your stop loss, that is when the market decides um, to go back and takes you out. You can see, um, this is the zone over here, I don't know what this market is trying to do, so probably this might be a sign of a reversal, you know something like that so that, anyway there's no problem even if it takes me out so yeah let me just explain everything in my trading view now but do i ha have regrets no basically i uh, was up probably around 200 something dollars 250 270 can't remember but then price has taken me out with 125 dollars which is crazy should should i be annoyed no why because i can't see the price trying to give me something that is funny right this is crazy just telling me okay this joint might try to reverse on me right look at this price might start doing this doing this doing this then boom meaning what just wipe me out wipe all my profits so that's what's up and if this um that pattern had not been formed guys i, I would have held my position as usual oh my target actually was around 46 pips so and price went up to 80 something was it 80 price just gave me around yeah 80 pips right but that's no problem guys that is what the market has given me and i'm okay with that <laughs> which is crazy so that's what's up that's the easy way i did take that market so that's what's up that's done and uh let me look let me look at something so dj let me remove that i'm down i'm over there uh Aussie card i did not take that buy entry on friday because the news was on its way so probably if i did take that buy entry on friday i would have bagged in more all right basically this is what's up this is where i was supposed to take my entry over here but then I was reluctant because the news was on its way and I promised myself whenever there's an incoming news whether I see a beautiful setup I will not take that in so I, I could have if there was no news I could have bugged in that right but that's what's up I did not take that entry anyway so that's what's up I don't regret that and now uh, let me see if I have any pair uh, Euro NZD on the upper side I don't know so Euro NZD has been crazy. Yeah, I did avoid that, which is nice, which is nice. Price was crazy. So I will do this. Um everything has been spoiled over there. Um Euro card, let me see. Mm -hmm. Come on. Euro card still playing out. I'm still waiting to see great things. GBP Aussie, I don't know. I did take a buy sometimes back, but then 
price just continued dropping and took me out and you can see now that stupid pair is now trying to go up crazy there's no problem either way that's what's up so it's no problem that's how price usually behaves same as gbp Aussie. i mean uh was it there was euro NZD? i can't remember either way i have a euro usd that i'm having on my watch list too i'm still in my buys all right i'm still in my buys i just need price to break out from that uh, previous lower high resistance okay that is up just need that price to break out then now um take that entry all the way up okay but this should be my first take profit but i really really um wish that this price really played out and maybe broke out today this is tuesday this tuesday or rather yesterday if it broke then uh that's what's up i would have taken that entry because i believe from tomorrow wednesday um i promised myself that okay wednesday thursday friday those are the days that news uh, usually comes out so i did promise myself maybe probably i should be taking only my trades on monday and tuesday so if wednesday thursday comes maybe i should be out of the market because i really really hate news man uh, most of the time if i do take my entries news usually go against me so this is what's up and um actually uh how this euro usd is um going down i still believe i might uh, take advantage of this because let me show you something amazing okay i really really need this to be very clear so probably this is what's up i can see price has not given me the third touch right so i really really wish that price continue going down until it maybe gives me that third touch from there right let me show you that so if it does that that means my stop loss will be very tight because now let's say that is where price broke from so that means i should be taking my buy entry then stop loss probably there and then now all the way up maximum profit instead of now this zone so i wish that it continues dropping and then maybe now goes and give me new lower high break out from that new low high that's when i will take that by entry so for now i'm staying away and i'm still monitoring and seeing how euro usd is going to play out basically right so it's just a matter of patience but i hate news i still hate news news usually spoils everything spoils my setup i believe that sometimes news um will just go against the good trades let's say we were in an uptrend but then basically everybody is long but then news will come and short let's say you're in a downtrend everybody's shorting news will come and long it so it so i don't know why it does that but i just decided to stay away all right because most of my losses usually occur because of news man i don't take losses when i use my strategy the only time this um uh market takes me out probably is because there was an incoming news man so i decided all right so this is the reason why i do take my losses why 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 can i why can't i avoid uh taking my trades when there's news so that's when I, I saw that okay monday and tuesday no news all right no major news but then wednesday thursday friday probably we usually have major news even if they're minor news but still they do have impacts on the market so i just promised myself man it's rather it's better i trade on monday and tuesday all right maximum profit <coughs> all right so gang um i believe that's what's up and uh this is the end of the video this is the end of the lesson so probably yeah this is the day that hour guys that minute guys that maybe you might now consider smashing that subscribe button guys support my channel and you um as usual girl guys i have to appreciate you and i have to give you big thanks guys because uh this channel is growing guys remember we started from scratch and now we up almost 400 subscribers gang and that is because of your much love and support guys so if this is the first time guys you came across this video once again smash that subscribe button guys you're really sleep guys all right so until next time gang adios amigos peace